And good evening, everyone, and welcome to Brazel Stadium on the campus of Grand Canyon University. Todd Garbison for Southwest Sports Network, and it's play-by-play -play coverage of Boulder Creek Jaguar Varsity Baseball underway in game number five on the season for the Jags. A visiting team tonight, uh, but uh, they help to get things set up to play here at Grand Canyon. Tonight's opponent, the Mountain Point Pride. And Michael Troisi, the leadoff hitter for Boulder Creek, up there with a count of two balls and one strike. It's an 0-4 start for Boulder Creek, looking for their first win of the season as that one's fouled away over on the third base side over the dugout, and it's two balls and two strikes. Mountain Point started off uh, a little bit rocky as well. They lost their first three, but now have won back-to-back -back games, including a 7-0 shutout against St. Mary's last night. Ball fouled out of play. Two balls and two strikes still to count to the Boulder Creek leadoff hitter. Again, it's Michael Troisi who starts in left field for the Jaguars. Kobe Bullware will bat second and play third base. Mitchell Allen, the first baseman, bats third. Tardy again on a swing and a foul off, but uh, still what you want your leadoff hitter to do. It's Troisi up there, and he's going to foul off a couple of pitches to extend the at-bat to get things started here tonight. So Troisi, Bullware, and Allen. Then Nick Zappola, the starting pitcher, bats fourth. Daniel Carrizosa bats fifth. The number six hitter, the right fielder, Max Calderon, as that pitch misses for a ball, and it's three and two. And then the bottom third of the order, Zach Baptist, the second baseman, Nate Roski, the DH, and Eddie Dabowski, the center fielder. Another one fouled down the left side and out of play. And it has now turned into at least a nine pitch at bat as a number nine is coming up here. Garvin Alston. Senior left-hander gets the nod tonight for the Mountain Point Pride. And a pitch up and in, and it's ball four, and that's a nice at-bat for Michael Troisi to get things started. Again, a nine-pitch at-bat. And Troisi aboard at first base, the batter Kobe Bullware. Showing bunt, first pitch popped up first base side near the Boulder Creek dugout. And uh, into the dugout for strike one. Defensively for Mountain Point, Cooper Davis starts in left field. Tommy Martinez, the center fielder. Omar Garcia in right. And we'll get you the uh, infield here. John Baldenko is the starting third baseman. Jaden Brooks plays shortstop. Keen Ezra, the second baseman, and Brock Bell at first. Catcher Josh Wannenberg, and I mentioned Garvin Alston, the starting pitcher. Left-hander looks over to first, delivers the pitch, bunted up in the air again, and back foul and out of play, and it's 0-2. So Boulder Creek asking Kobe Bullware to get the ball down on the ground to try to move that runner to second base, and he is not able to get the uh, bunt down. Pitch low and away for a ball, and it's one and two. Lead off hitter aboard at first. Nobody out, just getting going in the top of the first. Runner goes, and the throw to second, not going to be in time. And Troisi with good speed gets down to second base. That's his fourth steal of the season. Although I guess I should... Uh, qualify that, that uh, although Boulder Creek has played four games, it appeared that the uh, stats on Max Preps today had only been updated through three games. So, may have more, but uh, through three games anyway, he had four steals. Look back to second base, and now the 2-2 two -two is fouled down the right side and out of play.
Ball sent down the right field side again out of play, and we stay two balls and two strikes. Now the count runs full, three balls and two strikes. Look back to second base, but no throw. Just underway, top of the first inning. Jaguars with a runner at second base and nobody out. Number two hitter, Cubby Bullware at the plate. And that one foul to the backstop. So... Two good at-bats in a row here for Boulder Creek to get things started. Again, a nine-pitch at-bat for Michael Truisi, who drew the walk and then stole second. And a ground ball over to the right side. We'll move the runner to third as the throw goes on to first base. And Bullwear retired four to three, but again moves that runner to third as Truisi moves up the 90 feet. And now the batter is the first baseman, Mitchell Allen. First one to Allen, bounces in there, blocked by the catcher, Wunnenberg, and that prevents a run from scoring. Playing here at Grand Canyon, feel a little bit bigger than most of the high schools. 320 down the left field line, 330 down the line in right. 380 in the left center field alley, 375 in right center. And uh, no number on the fence out in straightaway center field as Allen takes a strike, and it's one and one. No score here, top of the first inning. Boulder Creek with a runner at third and one out. And the next pitch over for a strike, and it's one and two. And time called at the plate. Austin taking a little too much time, at least as far as Mitchell Allen is concerned. Now two balls and two strikes. And ready again, and the 2-2. And a swing and a miss. Allen down on strikes, and that's out number two. Now Nick Zappala will try to help himself out here and try to get that runner in from third base. Two away in the inning. And that first pitch over for a strike. You're talking about those dimensions in the outfield. Also a lot of foul territory that you don't see at uh, a lot of high schools. And quite a ways to the backstop. So anything that uh, goes to the backstop going to have a chance to move up a base. Ball popped up down the right field line, but this is going to get out of play. Zappala down on the count, nothing and two. Already 25 pitches in the inning. For Garvin Alston, pitch number 26 is fouled out of play. 
Boulder Creek putting the bat on the ball here in the early going. Not many swings and misses here in the first. Tracy with a lead off third base, and there's a swing and a miss pitch up out of the strike zone, and it's back-to-back uh, -back strikeouts for Alston. He strands a runner at third base for Boulder Creek. No runs, no hits, a walk and a runner left after a half inning of play. Jaguars nothing, and Mountain Point coming up. Set to go in the bottom of the first inning. Jaden Brooks leads off for Mountain Point. Shortstop in and ready, and the first pitch a breaking ball up and in for ball one from Nick Zoppola. And a fastball inside and high, 2-0. and So Brooks leads off, Tommy Martinez bats second, Omar Garcia is third. Brock Bell bats fourth and Cooper Davis fifth, Garvin Alston is sixth. Garrett Radaha, the DH, as that one's over for a strike, and it's 2-1. and one. Radaha, the DH, batting seventh and hitting for the third baseman, John Baldenko. Josh Wannenberg, the catcher, is eighth. Ken Esri is ninth. And a fly ball out to right field, and that's hauled in. And the first stop's taken by the right fielder. Coming to the plate, number five, center fielder, Tommy Martinez. So Calderon ever to able to track that one down in right field and now the batter Tommy Martinez. First one of Martinez high for ball one. No score bottom of the first inning. Boulder Creek got the leadoff hitter aboard by way of a walk. Troisi then stole second. Got to third base on a ground out with only one out then in the inning. Jaguars had a runner at third, but back-to-back -back swinging strikeouts turned the Jaguars away in the top of the first inning. Now Mountain Point, their leadoff hitter, a fly out to right. Tommy Martinez, the number two hitter at the plate, and he'll take a pitch near the outside corner, a strike, and it's one and one. Back to the line of the one-one pitch. And a slow grounder first base side. That'll take a right turn about two-thirds of the way down and go foul. And the count's one and two. Set the Jaguars defense. Troisi in left field. Kowski in center. Calderon in right. Bulwer at third. Carrizosa the shortstop. Baptiste the... First base, uh, the second baseman rather, and Allen plays first. Pitch high, and it's two and two. Cutter Kitson, the starting catcher for the Jaguars, and breaking ball down in the dirt, and the count runs full. Base is empty with one out for Mountain Point in the bottom of the first. The 3-2. And it's a line shot, but climbing the ladder, the shortstop. Carrizosa gets up there for Boulder Creek and takes away the base hit. So Martinez, pretty hard hit ball, but right at the shortstop, Carrizosa did have to go. Up in the air to bring it down. Two away in the inning. The base is empty. The batter, Omar Garcia. Mentioned Boulder Creek stats just uh, through the first three games. Mountain Point has not posted their stats. In fact, they don't have a roster on Max Preps. And, you know, different coaches do different things. Some uh, not all the way behind the uh, Max Prep. Wave, and uh, I'm not saying that's the situation at uh, Mountain Point. As we get a check swing, and uh, going around is Garcia. And they count one and one. Interesting here, we get uh, three umpires. Didn't notice that until just now. As so uh, the left handed hitter, Garcia, up there, the appeal went uh, over to third base. And there's a ground ball fouled off, and it's one and two. But, uh, you know, we're two weeks, a week and a half, I guess, into the season. And uh, to not have a roster up there, 
a little bit surprising, but they do have their own website, and that's uh, where we were able to secure a roster for the Pride, and it uh, appears to be pretty accurate based on the lineup card we received today. The 1 2 pitch is high and outside, maybe trying to get Garcia to extend himself out of the strike zone. So two balls and two strikes, two outs, bases empty, home half of the first inning, and no score. 2-2, hits sharply on the ground. Carrizosa on the back end, sets his feet, throws, and a nice play for Carrizosa. Back-to-back -back, nice plays again, and in fact, as he uh, throws out the runner at first base, and it's a three-up, three-down mountain point first inning after one from Grand Canyon. There's no score. Daniel Carrizosa leads off the Boulder Creek second inning. Took the first pitch for a ball. The next one on the inside corner, a strike, and it's one and one. Carrizosa, Calderon, batting one, two in the inning for a Boulder Creek. And a slow ground ball out to short. Brooks picks it up from the infield grass throws. And a long stretch by Bell, the first baseman, able to keep the foot on the bag. And the leadoff hitter retired in the second. Calderon takes one over for a strike. Lefty versus lefty here. The 0 1. A fastball at the knees. A strike, and it's 0 2. Alston back to it. The 0 2. Missed it outside. One ball and two strikes. Alston walked the leadoff hitter in the first, but has retired four in a row, two ground outs and two strikeouts. And a ball hit to pretty well down the left field line, but that's going to slice foul and out of play as it bounces off the bullpen area down on the third base side. And a breaking ball catches the outside corner. You can see Calderon flinch just a little bit, wanting to pull the trigger and wasn't able to. And so he's down on strikes. Third strikeout of the night for Garvin Alston. And the first one to Zach Baptist is Hold the ball, saw the plate umpire flinch just a little bit there, so he was going to bring up that right arm, and he caught himself. Now the 1-0. Popped back, foul, and out of play, and the count goes to 1-1. One and one. A beautiful night for baseball here at Grand Canyon. Cooler temperatures, of course, as the next one is fouled out of play. Better than we had earlier in the week, though, as a lot of the, uh, and in fact, I think just about every Monday game was rained out here in the Phoenix area. Tuesday wasn't too bad. We had a baseball game Tuesday afternoon. Got a little bit of rain during the ball game, but not too bad. And clear since, as the 1 2 is a fastball. And that's high and away. Two balls and two strikes. Into the wind, the 2-2 pitch. Popped up and again over the netting and out of play. And it uh, looks like uh, we're out of baseballs here. And yeah, they get one in from the Boulder Creek dugout. No score top of the second inning. Two outs, bases empty for the Jaguars. Two and two on Baptist. Nate Rusky, the DH, who is uh, batting for the catcher, Cutter Kitson, is in the on deck circle. And Alston to it. And a breaking ball got it over for a called third strike. So back to back 
strikeouts looking for the Jaguars. Four strikeouts in the game now for Alston as after a Mountain Point goes up and down in order in the bottom of the first, Boulder Creek returns to the favor in the top of the second, and after an inning and a half, there's no score. Middle third of the order for Mountain Point in the bottom of the second as Brock Bell takes strike one. And then way out in front, Bell with a swing and a miss down nothing and two. Bell, Davis, and Alston for Mountain Point in the second. End of the line, Sopolo with a pitch. Trying to go low and away that time and missed it well outside. One ball and two strikes to count. The one-two pitch, uh, swing and a miss up out of the strike zone. First strike out of the night for Zoppola, and that's out number one in the Mountain Point second inning. It'll bring up Cooper Davis. First one over for a strike off the glove of the catcher at Kitson, but still a called strike. The 0 1. A breaking ball high. One ball and one strike. You know, no record for Zoppola, 4.67 earned run average. Went six innings, gave up nine hits, two walks, three strikeouts. That one is up and in, and it's 2 and 1. A 2 1 pitch. That's over for a strike, and that evens the count at 2 and 2. And the count runs full, second time. That Zampel has gone to a 3 2 count. He got uh, Tommy Martinez to line out to the shortstop in the first. And there's a ground ball over to third. Bullwire gets a nice high hop, pours it across the diamond to first base in time. And they're two away in the Pride second inning. Two outs and the base is empty. Alston in there for the pride. And he goes after the first one and fouls it to the netting behind home plate for strike one. The 0-1 pitch. That's a fastball inside. It's one and one. The 1-1 pitch. And a breaking ball over for a strike. Well, that's nice. You come in high and tight with a fastball and then snap a big breaking ball over the plate for a strike. The 1 2. Try to go back there again. Missed it low and outside, and it's two balls and two strikes. The wind and the 2 2. That's fouled straight back. And another one bounced in there. Three balls, two strikes. And the 3-2, that's over the outer half of the plate. A called third strike, and it's six up and six down for Mountain Point. After two innings of play, there's no score. 8-9-1 and one in the order, and Nate Roski wastes no time. First pitch right back up the middle and into center field. A single to get things started for the Jaguars. And now Eddie Dubkowski, the center fielder, to the plate for the first time.
Bunch shown. And a ball uh, laid down, picked up, and a throw goes to second. They'll get the out there. Waldenko well, came uh, charging in over at third base and got a nice, easy hop. It had plenty of time, and the throw to second base got Roski by a couple of steps. 5-6 on the force at second. Dubkowski aboard on the fielder's choice. And it's back to the top of the order for Michael Troisi, who walked to start the ball game. Alston with a snap throw over to first, and Dubkowski dives back. Troisi through the first three games, two for ten on the year. That ball bounces in with the runner going. He's going to make the turnaround second try for third, and the throw down to third base, and slides into the tag and out at third. Just a slightest hesitation, maybe got deked a little bit by the middle infielders. It's going to go as a stolen base, and then 2-5 on the out at third. And that'll clear the bases for the Jaguars. Fastball in our half of the plate for a strike on Troisi for a count of a one and one now. Two outs in the bases, empty top of the third, no score. Fastball just misses in the count two and one. That hit from Rusky to lead off the third, the first base hit of the ballgame for either side. The two one. It's bounced in there, three balls and a strike. There's Alston back to it, the 3-1. Bounced in, and that's ball four. So Therese, walks for the second time tonight. And he's on it first for Kobe Bullware. Tracy steal back of the first inning. You would expect he's going to go here early with uh, the two hitter up if he's thrown out. Then Boulder Creek sends up two, three, and four to start the fourth. If he can get into second base safely, then a base hit scores him. Doesn't go on the first pitch, and the ball lifted down the right field side into foul territory and just out of play into the bullpen. So strike one on Bullware, who grounded out his first time up. Jaguars looking to get the bats going as uh, it's been a bit of a light offense through the first several games as that throw goes over to first base. Collectively, through the first three, team was hitting around 216. And so really focused. And, of course, we've seen him play some small ball. There's a, a ground ball, and that's through it into right center field for a base hit. The second baseman, Ezri, playing way over onto the right side. And uh, Bullware sends that one back up the middle now. Two aboard with two outs for Mitchell Allen. Allen three for eight in his first three games. Couple of doubles and a home run for RBI. One of just uh, two home runs for the Jaguars and he has both doubles. So I guess another way to say it, four extra base hits in the first three games. He's got three out of the four for the Jags. Number three hitter in there struck out his first time up and takes a strike. There's got to be some movement on that ball based on where the catcher caught that one for it to be a called strike. Alston looks back to second base, sets, and delivers a one strike pitch. And that's foul to the netting and it's 0-2. And the four losses for Boulder Creek had one game where they scored seven runs, otherwise three, two, and one, the runs scored. 
And looking for something here. That uh, pitch just off the outside corner of ball, and it's one and two. Two hits and a walk in the inning, but nothing to show for it thus far for Boulder Creek. Alston steps off. Now the look back to second base. And Alston steps off. Well, the baseball adage is uh, with less than two outs, the middle infielders are kind of responsible for keeping that runner close at second, but you get to two outs, then it's more on the pitcher. And there's a swing and a miss. He gets the job done. A strikeout, the first of the inning, strikeout number five for Alston. And Boulder Creek is turned away in the third. No runs, two hits plus a walk. They leave two. And after two and a half, still no score. Seven, eight, and nine in the order. Garrett Redaha, the DH, pops one up on the right side. Back of the outfield, Grass Baptist with the catch. One pitch and one out in the bottom of the third. And that'll bring up Josh Wunnenberg. First one of Wunnenberg, a fastball inside for ball one. And a fly ball hit well out to left field. Troisi going back, looks up, and it's gone. A solo home run off the bat of Josh Wunnenberg, and Mountain Point leads Boulder Creek 1-0. That was a towering shot to left field, uh, just uh, to the left, or right near the uh, scoreboard out there in left field. So the pride gets some offense from the number eight hitter as Keenan you know, swings and misses for a strike. Fouled back and out of play, and it's 0-2. Zopla had retired the first seven hitters of the ball game. Three up and three down in the first and the second, plus the leadoff hitter in the third. And the ball fouled back out of play. We stay 0-2. Breaking ball, able to check the swing. One ball and two strikes. And the one-two pitch. That's inside, two balls and two strikes. And it called third strike. And that's out number two in the inning, second to make it the third strikeout of the ball game for Zapala. And now to the top of the order for the shortstop, Jaden Brooks. Brooks with a fly ball to Calderon at right field, his first time up. And the pitch up and in for ball one. The 1-0 pitch. Over for a strike, and it's 1-1. One and one. Two outs, base is empty, a run in for the pride. The 1-1 one, one pitch. Low and away, 2-1. Kitson uh, will go out and talk to his pitcher, Zampala.
Gets it back behind the plate. Ready to get back to it here. The 2-1 pitch. And a high chopper up the middle. Baptist backhands but has no play. Good effort to get to that ball and keep it from uh, getting into center field. It's an infield base hit for Brooks. And it brings up the center fielder, Tommy Martinez. Turn and a throw to first. And Brooks is back. Another try over there. Yeah, trying to keep Brooks close over there at first base and keep him out of scoring position with two outs in the inning. And a ball fouled down the left side and out of play. one nothing Mountain Point on a solo home run off the bat of the number eight hitter of the catcher, Josh Wannenberg. The set and the one strike pitch with the runner going. The pitch high and away, the throw down to second base. They had a chance at him, but now they got a chance on a way back and not able to get the tag down. So it goes as a stolen base for Brooks. Decent pitch for Kitson to handle. Was on the glove side and, and not the throwing side, but didn't have anything in his way as far as traffic from the swing of the bat. There's a shot down the right field line. If it's fair, it's trouble, but foul by just a couple of feet. Martinez really got the bat head around on that one. Yanked it down the right side and ended up just foul. It's even a two apiece, but a Mountain Point leads it one to nothing. Zavala with a set, look back to second base. And the one two. And a ground ball to short. Carrizosa bobbles, picks it up, and will not have a play. So an E6 will extend the inning. Brooks to third, Martinez aboard at first to the batter Omar Garcia, who grounded out to end the first inning. Now this Mountain Point team, a state qualifier a year ago, finished 17 and 10 on the season. They lost in the second round of the Division I baseball playoffs to what at the time was a very hot 22 seed Gilbert as Gilbert beat Chaparral on the road in the opening round and then went on the road and beat Mountain Point 4-3 to three the final in that one. First one outside. Of course, the Pride have had some great success, including a state title a handful of years ago, and they lost in the championship game the year prior. And they have... Uh, Turned out some big names in the last several years as the next one is outside, and it's 2-0. and First and third with two outs, a run in for Mountain Point at the bottom of the third inning. They lead Boulder Creek 1-0. Playing under the lights here at Grand Canyon University. Pitch outside, a throw down to third, and Bulwer goes up high to keep that ball from going into the outfield. That would have brought in a run. Well, though first base is not open on a 3-0 count, they're going to want Garcia. You don't see that a whole lot. If it had been second and third and you get first base open, then uh, you see that a little bit more often. But they actually put another runner into scoring position by walking Garcia. Now Brock Bell, the first baseman, and the cleanup hitter at the plate. And a big swing and a miss for strike one. Bell struck out his first time up. 
Zabala trying to get out of this third inning without uh, any further damage. An error has extended the inning. The set of the one strike. And a swing and a miss, and it's 0-2. Zappala with a set and the two strike pitch went a little higher up out of the strike zone. Bell lays off and the count's one and two. And the one two pitch. Missed a little low. Two balls and two strikes. Well, this is the pitch where you want to make something happen. Two balls and two strikes. You don't want to go full count with the bases. Loaded in two outs because then the merry-go-round gets started. Here's the 2-2. And a fly ball down the right field line. Will it stay in play? No, it'll get to out of play and into the bullpen. So it'll take a moment to get the runners reset here as Brooks will go back to third, Martinez to second, Garcia to first. And Bell gets back to the plate. Mountain point up one to nothing. Hitting in the bottom of the third. Zappala and the Jaguars trying to keep it right there. The 2-2. Two -two. High, and now the runners will get a chance to get going. Just increases the uh, opportunity, the possibility to get that runner in from second base because they'll be able to get that uh, running start. Of course, you want to make sure the pitcher delivers to the plate. He'll turn and look around and see what all the runners are going to do. Three and two on Bell with the bases full. Big pitch coming up here. Zoppola with a set and the three two with the runners going and a swing and a miss. And Bell strikes out. And that uh, ends the inning for Mountain Point. Pride get a run on a couple of hits, one error. They leave the bases loaded. And we've put three in the books from Brazel Stadium. Mountain Point leads Boulder Creek one to nothing. Middle third of the order for Boulder Creek in the fourth inning. See if they can get something going here against Garvin Alston as Sapala takes a breaking ball for strike one. He struck out in the first. Now a ball and a strike. Nick two for eight with a solo home run through the first few games. Takes low and it's two and one. Carrizosa and Calderon to follow for Boulder Creek. One high for a ball, three and one. Boulder Creek probably leads the state in number of games played in the regular season as that pitch is low and away for a ball. So a walk. Third walk given up by Garvin Alston. It's the third inning out of four that Boulder Creek has put the leadoff hitter aboard. And typically you see in the... Uh, you know, baseball, they say you put the leadoff guy on, he's going to come around to score. Boulder Creek's not been able to cash in the first two times. We'll see what happens here in the fourth. Carrizosa grounded out his first time up. Two for eight on the season. Coming in, or at least through the first three. He's bunting and puts it foul down the first base side. And that's strike one. But uh, because of the Coach Bob Invitational that Boulder Creek hosts every year, they really rack up the games in the regular season. They play the same amount of PowerPoint games as everybody else, typically 18. I think some get the waiver to play 19 if they have to help out. I don't know that that happens so much in baseball, but you see that happen a little bit more often in uh, some of the other sports. Bunch shown again. This time it's put down nicely. Alston will pick it up. His only play is to first. And Carrizosa out on the sacrifice. 1-3 on the put out. And now runner at second with one out for the right fielder Max Calderon who was called out on strikes in the second inning. 
Collar on two for seven with a couple of RBI in the first few games. And the first pitch of fastball up and in for ball one. Look back to second, but no throw. One on, one out, top of the fourth inning. Boulder Creek trailing Mountain Point, one to nothing. The 1 0 pitch. Not able to pull the trigger there, and the count goes to 1 and 1. Mountain Point's lone run, a solo homer in the bottom of the third inning off the eight hole hitter. His bat, Josh Wunnenberg, with that solo shot to left. Bunch shown, ball fouled off the plate, and then comes back behind the plate, and the count goes to one and two. Be interesting to see how the season goes along, and uh, keep an eye on Boulder Creek. We'll have another four games for you throughout the rest of the season. Our next one will be on March 27th in that Coach Bob Invitational when Boulder Creek will host Bend, Oregon. The 1-2 and a swing and a miss. Pitch well out of the strike zone and uh, I guess bobbled there by Wunnenberg, so he'll clear that runner and uh, throw down to first base. So a strikeout, 2-3 put out. And uh, the runner has to stay put at second base. The batter is Zach Baptist. But uh, we'll see a Boulder Creek then on March 27th. But it'll be interesting to see as the season goes along is, uh, is the small ball sort of because of the, uh, the offense. As that ball is grounded through the hole and into left field, they're going to challenge the arm of the left fielder Davis, and the throw was cut off, and that's a break there for Boulder Creek. I don't know if that was uh, third baseman now, Baldenko tapping his chest saying, that's my fault, as he cut that throw off. Don't know that they would have got him at the plate, but it would have been close, and instead it's an RBI base hit for Baptist, and Boulder Creek has tied it in the top of the fourth inning, an RBI single off the bat of the Jaguars' second baseman. So 1-1 one, one as we play in the top of the fourth inning, and the batter is Nate Roski, who had that sharp single to start the third. But just to finish that thought then, is the a small ball because the offense is struggling or are the numbers down because small ball is the way Boulder Creek has uh, kind of decided to play out the season. And we'll see if that shows later on or if uh, it changes based on how the offense goes. The one strike with the runner bluffing and not going. A curveball over for a strike, and it's 0-2. Two. two outs and a runner at first. Tying run is in, though, for Boulder Creek as they hit in the top of the fourth inning. Now Alston with the set and the 0-2 with a runner going this time, and a ball chopped on the ground to the third baseman, Baldenko. He throws on the run, and it's on the money at first base to get Roski, and the side retired. Boulder Creek gets the uh, tying run, though, in the top of the fourth inning. They do it on one base hit, and plus a uh, walk. They leave one runner on. Midpoint of the ball game from Grand Canyon. It's Boulder Creek one and Mountain Point one. Cooper Davis leads it off for Mountain Point at the bottom of the fourth inning and takes high from Nick Zappolo for ball one. Alston and Radaha to follow. As Mountain Point sent seven to the plate in the third inning, they scored once and left the bases loaded. Now one run, three hits, one error for Boulder Creek. One run, two hits, no errors for Mountain Point. A little pop-up out to the shortstop, Carrizosa. One step onto the outfield grass. And there's one away. Not the kind of ball uh, put in play there that you want when you're up there with a 2-0 count. Want to get a... A better shot on the ball there, but popped up for out number one. And now Alston in, and he'll ground one up the middle. That's going to be trouble, and that's through and into center field for hit number three of the night for Mountain Point. To the plate, the D-H number 16, Garrett. 
the roster. We got a courtesy runner at first. Now Garrett Redaha, the DH, in there with one on and one out. Curtis here and over at first. I believe that's uh, Jonathan Weaver as we get a swing and a miss for his strength. I beg your pardon, it's Brandon Johnson over there. I thought it was a one, but I believe it's an eight. Turn and a throw to first. And Johnson back. Redaha popped out to Baptist, the second baseman in the third. Going to try over to first base again, and once again the runner back. I guess uh, if you're Zappola, you want to get something done here because Josh Wunnenberg awaits in the on-deck circle, and he's been the offense for Mountain Point, a solo homer in the third. Runner going, ball hits sharply up the middle. There's an out at second, turn and a throw, and not able to pick it out at first base is Allen. That was a quick turn by Baptist, the second baseman. He spun quickly there, threw maybe a little bit low, and then Allen not able to hang on to it. So they get the lead runner on the force at second, and a nice play for Carrizosa. And a sharply hit ball, and a possible double play ball just not able to get it done there. They get the out at second, but Redaha board on the fielder's choice at first. And the batter is Josh Wannenberg. Breaking ball to Wannenberg misses for ball one. Pitch misses the throw wide on uh, trying to throw behind the runner at first base, and that'll be an error to get Redaha to second. Second error of the night for Boulder Creek. And now Kitson will go out and talk to Zoppola. They want to make sure they got the signs squared away with that runner at second base. 1-1 one, one the score in the bottom of the fourth inning. I guess maybe the other thing you want to talk about is uh, how careful you want to be with first base open. Radaha out there at second with two away in the inning. And so will they look to maybe pitch around Wannenberg a little bit. Mountain Point with their run in the bottom of the third. Boulder Creek answered with one in the top of the fourth. And we will get a, a break here as we play in the bottom of the fourth. Now back to play, and well, Wunnenberg lifts a fly ball. This one into shallow center field. Carrizosa out. But it's Domkowski that comes in. That's the way you want to see your outfielders do. Call off the infielder and make the catch. And Mountain Point fails to score in the bottom of the fourth inning. No runs, a hit, plus an error. And one runner left on base through four. We're still tied at one. 9-1-2 one, in the order for Boulder Creek. Eddie Domkowski takes a strike. Again, there's got to be a lot of movement because it... Uh, Pitch took that glove all the way over into the uh, other batter's box, it appeared. Dubkowski laid on that last one, no balls and two strikes to count. And a swing and a miss on the two strike pitch, down on strikes Dubkowski as uh, he's out for the second time, 0 for 2 in the night now. And we turn the order over again for the Jaguars. Michael Troisi makes his way to the plate. That was strikeout number seven, by the way, for Alston.
And a ground ball. High hop for Brooks, the shortstop, sets his feet and throws, and that's in time at first base. Tracy retired for the first time after walks in the first and the third. And now with two outs, the batter is Kobe Bolwer. Bolwer with a ground out and a single in his two trips. Trying to get his starter with two outs for the Jags in the fifth. The first one misses for a ball. The 1 0 -oh pitch. Swing and a miss, a strike, and it's one and one. Into the wind, the one one pitch. Fastball misses inside, two and one. Alston with a two one pitch, and that's fouled out of play. And they count two and two. Boulder Creek one, Mountain Point one, top of the fifth from Grand Canyon. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes goes Bullware. Second strikeout of the inning. And the eighth overall for Alston after four and a half. It's still one to one. Nine, one, and two in the order for Mountain Point in the fifth. Keen Ezra takes ball one. He was called out on strikes his first time up. Takes Han away, and it's two at all. And the next one misses, and it's three and oh. We don't want to mess around with walking the number nine hitter if you can avoid it anyway. Go after him. Don't want to get that table set to get to the top of the order, but it is a four-pitch walk to the ninth place hitter as Ezra goes to first, and the batter is Jaden Brooks. And a first pitch put uh, through the hole and into left field, a base hit. Second hit of the night for Brooks as he pushes Ezra to second. And with uh, two aboard and nobody out, the batter is Tommy Martinez. First one of Martinez low and away for a ball. Martinez 0 for 2. He lined out to short in the first and then reached on an error in the third. And we'll get a timeout from the Boulder Creek dugout. Playing in the bottom of the fifth inning, 1-1 our score. And a ground ball, foul. Over on the first base side, Boulder Creek gets... The bullpen going in a big way here. Got a couple of guys starting to get loose. Two right-handers down there. A 1-1, one, one, the runner from second takes off, and the ball popped, uh, well, hit pretty well, actually, out to center field. Topkowski over to make the catch, and that's a big first down. I was watching uh, kind of out of the corner of the eye anyway, seeing the reaction of Kyrie Zosa, and I thought he might have a play on the ball, but he was headed over to second to try to cover the back. Omar Garcia outside for a ball. And the 
Next pitch is high. Two balls and no strikes. Two aboard with one out. Bottom of the fifth. We're tied at one. And now they're going to push a runner to third and another runner into scoring position. So Boulder Creek has decided that uh, they're not going to let Omar Garcia be the guy to beat them. As with the intentional walk, they load the bases. They paid off the first time as Brock Bell struck out on a 3-2 pitch. Takes inside this time for ball one. So the base is full with one out. Two and another count with nowhere to put Bell. And that one's over for a strike, and it's two and one. And that one over the outside corner of a strike, and that evens the count at two and two. And a swing and a foul tip into the glove, a strikeout. So the decision pays off again for Boulder Creek. Ground ball, that's up the middle and into center field. One run will score. Another one being waved around. The throw is cut off. And Mountain Point leads 3-1. to one. A two-run single off the bat of Cooper Davis. As Asri and Brooks score, Garcia goes to second base. And the batter is Garvin Alston. Turn back to second, no throw. Alston with a base hit his last time up, one for two. And a ground ball, and that's fielded at the, uh, well, by the shortstop, Carrizosa, and they go to second for the last out in the fifth. The fielder's choice off the bat of Alston ends the fifth inning, but Mountain Point scores twice, and after five, they lead Boulder Creek 3-1. to one. Heart of the order for the Jaguars in the sixth as Mitchell Allen takes ball one, three, four, and five. Allen, Zappala, Carrizosa for Boulder Creek. And the next pitch is outside, and it's 2-0. Swing and a miss, a strike, and it's two and one. Ball fouled out of play on the right side, and it's two and two. Fouled back. We stay two balls and two strikes. And the 2 2. A little bit alone. That runs the count full. Three balls and two strikes on Allen. 
Strikeout on the first, strikeout again in the third. Trying to get the tying run to the plate here in the sixth inning as time called. Three and two on Mitchell Allen. And the pitch. And another one fouled out of play. And got just a piece of it to stay alive. That's three different two-strike pitches fouled off by Allen. And eight pitches in the at-bat. Four in a row retired by Garvin, uh, Garvin Alston. And time called. Boulder Creek got their run and an RBI single from Zach Baptist. For Mountain Point, a solo home run from Josh Wannenberg and a two-run single from Cooper Davis. 3-1 to one pride with the Jaguars batting in the sixth. Another 3-2 and another foul ball. One run, three hits, two errors for Boulder Creek. Three runs, five hits, no errors for the Pride. Another 3-2, and a swing and a miss, but the ball bounced in. It'll go to the backstop, and the Jaguars get the leadoff hitter aboard. Strikeout number nine on the night for Alston, but a strikeout and a wild pitch puts the runner aboard. And the batter is Nick Zappala, who struck out to end the first and then walked and scored in the fourth. And a fly ball down the line in right field. Garcia, long run over, runs into the fence down the right field line, and he's shaken up on the play. The ball... Uh, Came down, dropped, and is a foul ball. We're going to get a break while they check on the right fielder, Garcia. Back to play here as Garcia stays in the ball game for Mountain Point, and the next one from Alston is low for a ball. It's one and one on Nick Zappala. Jaguars down three to one as they hit in the top of the sixth inning, first power point ball game of the season for Boulder Creek. Second for the Pride, and there's a fly ball hit well out into left center field. That's down, it's gonna roll all the way to the wall. Allen's gonna be waved around third base, and no relay throw, and uh, he scores. Boy, I wonder if he got his toe on the plate. The uh, first base umpire rotates around to cover home. He didn't get very much of the plate if he got it, but uh, Allen scores to make it 3-2, RBI double for Nick Zappala. And now Daniel Carrizosa will bat as Zach Landrum runs at second base for Zappala. And now time from the Mountain Point dugout, and Alston already had the ball out there and hands it off and his night on the mound is done. We get a pitching change for Mountain Point as we play in the top of the sixth. It's 3-2 Pride. Tim Tiraberry on a pitch for Mountain Point. Senior right-hander trying to get out of further trouble here in the sixth inning. His first one a fastball high for ball one. Carrizosa grounded out in the second and was out on a sacrifice in the fourth. Tying run at second, go ahead run at the plate for Boulder Creek, the 1 0 pitch. And a swing and a miss, and it's 1 and 1. Yeah, looking ahead for Boulder Creek, 
Right back at it tomorrow against Apollo. On the road Monday against South Point Catholic. And then Wednesday home against San Luis. Two balls and a strike on Carrizosa. A run in, a runner at second. Nobody out of the top of the sixth. Carvin Alston goes five plus innings for Mountain Point. Still responsible for that runner at second base. And a ground ball slowly over on the right side. It'll be a foot race to the bag, but Terraberry gets over to cover, and Carrizosa is out 3 1 on the putout. Zappalus courtesy runner Landrum goes to third, though, and now the tying run 90 feet away, and the batter is Max Calderon. I mentioned we'll have five games for you for Boulder Creek Baseball here in the regular season. Our next one on March 27th against Ben. We'll have three in April on April 6th against Liberty. That'll be back here at Grand Canyon University as uh, Mountain Point brings the infield in. Looking to cut off the tying run at the plate as Terraberry works out of the stretch. Sets in the first pitch is a fastball high for ball one. Calderon, a couple of strikeouts on the night. Looking to put the ball in play and trying to get one past the infielders. The 1-0 pitch. That's low, and it's two balls and no strikes. So we'll have April 6th against Liberty here at Grand Canyon. Back again on April 14th against Ironwood here at Brazel Stadium at Grand Canyon. And then on April 23rd, we'll have the game against Coconino. That'll be at Chase Field. The 2-0 pitch. A fastball. That's a little over for a strike. And looked uh, maybe up a little bit, maybe off the plate some, but uh, called strike, and it's 2-1. and one. Zach Baptist next for Boulder Creek. Tying run at third, go-ahead run at the plate for the Jaguars. The 2-1 pitch. That's high, and it's 3-1, and one, and uh, I don't know if that maybe that's uh, just aggressive base running or if that... Uh, was a start of a squeeze play there because that runner from third got a good break. And maybe it's just a good base running that he's going as far as the third baseman will go. That's kind of how you take care of that over at third. There's a swing and a miss for a strike, and it's three and two. Three balls, two strikes on Calderon trying to get the runner in from third base. Tara Berry shakes off a sign, now sets, and the right-hander waits, and time is called. Just as Tara Berry started to lift that front foot, Calderon got a hand up and got time from the plate umpire. 3-2 ball game, top of the sixth inning. Jaguars down a run, but the game tire is 90 feet away. And the 3-2 pitch. And a swing and a foul tip into the glove for a strikeout. Now Zach Baptist will try to get it done for Boulder Creek. He had an RBI base hit his last time up. Takes a breaking ball that is called a strike. The 0 1 pinch. And a slow tapper down the third baseline. Trouble here. Baldenko on the run. Throws late. And it's wide, and that's going to get the runner to a second base as Apple's courtesy runner Landrum scores. And Boulder Creek has tied it in the sixth. It's ruled an infield single and an E5. So that becomes then an RBI for Baptist. And then he goes to second base on the throwing error from Baldenko. So 
So a couple of runs in for the Jaguars. They've tied it here in the sixth inning, and now the go-ahead run in scoring position at second, and the batter is Nate Roski. And you can close the book on Garvin Alston, the mounted point starting pitcher. He goes five-plus innings as he faced the first two of the sixth without recording an out. He gave up four hits, three runs all earned, three walks, nine strikeouts. He threw 91 pitches. The 1-0 Taroski fouls it back and out of play, and it's 1-1. One one. So Boulder Creek with a run in the fourth and now two in the sixth. Mountain Point got their one run in the bottom of the third. They scored twice in the bottom of the fifth. Back to second, the 1-1. And a swing and a miss over the top of a breaking ball, and it's 1-2. and two. And that breaking ball fooled him over for a called third strike, and that'll end the Boulder Creek inning. But they get even with two in the top of the sixth inning. They do it on a couple of base hits plus one error and one runner left on base. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning, Boulder Creek three and Mountain Point three. Bottom third of the order for the Pride in the sixth, and Garrett Ridaha with a ground ball out to short, and uh, Carrizosa fields... And throws to first, and Radaha the first down in the sixth inning. Now Josh Wannenberg, the Mountain Point catcher, comes to the plate. Solo home run in the third inning, and a fly ball in the center field to end the fourth. And there's a line shot into center field. Pretty good uh, activity out of the eight hole. As Jacob Wells will come on to run. So one on and one out at the bottom of the sixth inning as the go-ahead run is aboard for the Pride with one out at the bottom of the order. Keen Esri, the second baseman, in there as they turn and they throw to first base, forces Wells back. And they try it again over there, and this time Wells is back standing. One on, one out, bottom of the sixth inning. Bunch shown, pulled back quickly though, and they pitch a breaking ball over for a strike. Runner goes, swing and a miss, throw it down to second base. It's on the shortstop side of the bag and no chance for a tag. So Wells, the courtesy runner, Comes out and shows his worth there as he steals second base. Ezri, the hitter, came uh, all the way across the plate and uh, almost would have been advantageous there for Boulder Creek catcher Kitson to maybe make some contact. And there's a, a shot into left center field. That'll get down for a hit. It's cut off by Dubkowski. He'll get it in in a big hurry, and that's a good play there to... Keep that go-ahead run from uh, coming around to score. As it is, Wells stops at third. Azri now at first base. And it's uh, back to the top of the order for Jaden Brooks. And Brooks runs well, so he's going to be tough to double up. But you do keep the double play in order. But uh, first we're going to get a timeout from the Boulder Creek dugout, Coach McDonald coming out and we'll see if that's it for an example. We get a break in the bottom of the sixth inning. We're tied at three. And 
And the first pitch to Brooks over for a strike as Boulder Creek stays with Nick Sapala. First and third with one out. The corner infielders up, middle infielders playing back. Again, it's going to have to be a sharply hit baseball to have a chance to double up Brooks at first. Pitch at the knees, a strike. That's a good way to get it going, though, as you get it uh, down to two strikes. Brooks with a couple of base hits and three at-bats. He singled and scored his last time up. Pitch number 93 coming up here for Zappala instead of throw to first. 3-3 three, three our score, bottom of the sixth inning. And again, it's the first PowerPoint ball game of the season for Boulder Creek Mountain Point playing their second as they won their PowerPoint opener last night on the road at St. Mary's, played over at Papago Park. The 0-2, that's up and out of the strike zone, one ball and two strikes. Looking ahead for... Mountain Point, the Pride will see Alhambra and Desert Mountain on Monday and Tuesday next week. Then the big one probably circled on the calendar is Desert Vista. That's a high chopper, and that's over the head of Bullware into left field. And Mountain Point goes on top four to three. Third hit of the night for Jaden Brooks. And an RBI single scores Wannenberg's courtesy runner Jacob Wells. Now Ezra goes to second, Brooks at first, and the batter is Tommy Martinez. And now a timeout, and uh, Boulder Creek maybe stays with Zappala, one hitter too many, and uh, we're going to get a pitching change. Playing in the bottom of the sixth, 4-3 Pride. And we get back to playing the bottom of the sixth inning, and the new Boulder Creek pitcher is Brian Levine. No record on the season, 3.5 earned on average. Four innings pitch, five hits allowed, no walks, one strikeout. And the next one outside, and it's 2-0 and oh to Tommy Martinez with a couple of men aboard and one out. The go-ahead run in for Mountain Point as they lead Boulder Creek 4-3. I'll look back in the 2-0, -oh, that's outside, three balls and no strikes. The 3-0 pitch. That's over four strike, and it's three and one. Well, the Jaguars have fought back a couple of times to get even. They're going to have to do it again in the seventh. The 3-1. Over the outside corner, a strike three and two. Mountain Point scored first and a solo homer from Josh Wunnenberg in the bottom of the third. Boulder Creek got even in the top of the fourth on an RBI single from Zach Baptist. A 3-2 pitch where the runner's going. It's ball four. So that loads the bases. And they're going to have to pitch to Omar Garcia. And uh, first, though, another timeout from the Jaguar dugout. Still in the bottom of the sixth, 4-3, Pride. Troy Osterode, the new pitcher for Boulder Creek, gets a strike on the outside corner to Omar Garcia. Osterode, no earned run average, one inning pitch, two strikeouts. Drops down and misses low and outside, and it's one and one. Bases loaded, one out, a run in for Mountain Point as they lead four to three. Hits starting to pile up for the Pride of eight now in the ball game. Boy, and that's going to be a called strike, and it's one and two. And that ball hit through the right side and into right field. One run will score. Another run will score. And uh, no throw as the ball gets back into the infield. Two-run single for Omar Garcia, 
And it's 6-3 Mountain Point. As Ray and Brooks score, Martinez goes to third, and now Garcia aboard at first. And the batter is Brock Bell. And the first pitch is outside to Bell, ball one. Bell able to lay off. Pitch low and away, 2-0. and oh. Got another right-hander getting loose in the bullpen. And there's a ground ball over on the right side, picked up out at second, on to first. That's a nice turn as Allen makes a good play over there. And it's a 3-6-3 double play, and that ends the inning. Mountain point, though. Extends the lead. They score three times in the bottom of the sixth inning and go up six to three. Pinch hitter for Boulder Creek in the seventh as Tyler Larson will get a chance to face Tim Terraberry. Larson one for two on the season. Took the first one for a ball. Now the 1 0. Oh. Lays off, and it's two balls and no strikes. It's 9-1-2 and two in the order, but again, Larson pinch hitting for Dobkowski. Show you see in the on-deck circle for the Jags. Boulder Creek needs a couple of base runners just to get the tying run of the plate here in the seventh inning as that's over for a strike, and it's 2-1. and one. Final line for Nick Zappala, the Boulder Creek starter. He goes five and a third innings, allows eight base hits, six runs all earned. Three walks, two intentional as they get a ground ball over to third base. And Baldenko has it, throws on to first, and it's in time, one away. So Larson grounds out 5-3, and Troisi makes his way to the plate for Boulder Creek. To finish Zappala's line, then five strikeouts in five and a third innings. Unofficially, he threw 94 pitches. You see 0 for 1 and a couple of walks. He grounded out his last time up. And hits that ball pretty well out to left center field. Davis going back, though. Makes the catch. And that's out number two. So the Jaguars down to their final out here in the seventh inning, trailing 6 to 3. Again, they were able to answer the first two times. Mountain Point scored one. Boulder Creek got one back. Then the Pride scored twice. Boulder Creek two more in the very next inning. But uh, this time a three-run bottom of the sixth for Mountain Point, and that might be uh, too much for Boulder Creek here in the seventh inning. They make it harder anyway as the first two are retired, a ground out and a fly ball. Bowler one for three. And now the one strike pitch. And that's fouled off, and it's 0 and 2. So now Boulder Creek down to their final strike here in the seventh. Terraberry's 0-2, bounced in there. One ball and two strikes. And this one got started a little bit late because of some traffic for Mountain Point on their way over here to uh, Grand Canyon. 7-12, our first pitch. So we're just past two hours now playing in the top of the seventh, the 1-2 pitch. And that's enough that uh, Bulware goes around, didn't uh, even appeal down. The plate umpire rings him up. For the strikeout, and that will do it. A three up, three down, seventh inning, and Boulder Creek falls to Mountain Point by a final score of six to three. Totals on the ball game for Boulder Creek three runs on five hits. They commit two errors and leave five runners on base. For Mountain Point, six runs on nine hits, one error, and five runners left on base. Garvin Alston gets the win for Mountain Point.
Nick Zampala takes the loss for Boulder Creek. And Tim Terraberry comes in and uh, gets the save for uh, Boulder Creek, or for a Mountain Point, and actually uh, changed that around, I guess, a little bit here as uh, Terraberry got through the sixth inning, and then the run scored in the uh, bottom of the sixth, so it's not Alston that gets the win. Instead, it's uh, Terraberry with the win, no save for Mountain Point. My mistake there. And uh, so Boulder Creek falls to 0-5 in the season. Mountain Point evens their season record at three wins and three losses. And we play two hours and two minutes tonight here at Grand Canyon. So that will do it again, our final score. It's Mountain Point 6 and Boulder Creek 3 from Brazel Stadium on the campus of Grand Canyon University. Todd Garbison for Southwest Sports Network saying so long. And we'll talk to all of you Jaguar fans again on March 27th when Boulder Creek hosts Bend, Oregon.